This unit is our air-operated vacuum lift and rotate unit. This particular one is built in stainless steel for GMP areas. So what we have is we have our lift unit at the back, which will lift the load, lifting this carriage at the front. And then right at the front here, we have four vacuum pads. These vacuum cups will grip to the drum. So we push the unit to the drum, select vacuum on, it will grip to the drum, and then we can raise the drum and then rotate it. Okay? To operate the unit, we need to plug in an airline. As soon as we plug in the airline, it will put air onto the unit, and it uses a vacuum venturi system, so you'll hear air running all the time. So the moment we plug the airline in, you'll hear the air running with the unit, and then we can go and pick the drum up. So first thing, plug the airline in. You just hear the air running there. Then we have a switch at the back that you simply depress, push down, to put the vacuum onto the head. We push towards the drum. The vacuum cups have now pulled the drum into the pads and we can monitor this vacuum gauge at the back of the unit that the needle is in the green area. When the needle is in the green area, it means we have full vacuum. So we can now lift by pulling this lever. Then, when we want to rotate the drum into the vessel or onto a table, we have another lever here. We simply push this one forward. This particular ram will stay in one position, so if we pull it back a bit, we can stop it in one place. So you can select a partial tip if you want. So if we just rotate forward, we can stop it in any position we want. If you disconnect the airline while the unit is running, which you shouldn't, but just in case someone did, it wouldn't drop the drum provided that you have a good vacuum seal. So the sealing cups at the front are only as good as what you're sealing to. So if we unplug the airline, we can monitor the vacuum pressure and that should stay in the green zone. Obviously if the airline becomes disconnected, it's important to put the drum down as soon as possible. So to release the drum now, we simply push the unit back to where we want to place it, push the lower lever, then we pull up on the vacuum release lever. That releases the cups from the drum. The unit's very maneuverable. You have two swivel casters at the rear, and we have two park brakes, which you can operate by simply pushing down on the lever and push the top to release.